y'all doing today, you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all stuff today, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that dope bell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby. Start a relationship. And keep God first, baby. Start a friendship. On that note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. I'm going to catch you at the end, baby. Let's Miss go. Freak and a motivational speaker. From the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to sleep at night, you are running. You are running from the very thing that could be the solution to all of your problems. You get high, you get drunk, you indulge. You surround yourself with distractions because you are afraid to be alone with your thoughts. You've taken the most powerful weapon that you possess and you've managed to weaponize it against yourself, your mind. Don't you understand? If you can't control your thoughts, then you cannot control your actions. Therefore, you are not in control of your life. How many times in a day? Matter of fact, how many times just today alone before you even clicked on this video have you talked yourself or thought yourself out of making a decision that was in your own best interest? Whether it was not waking up in time or failing to complete a task, these self-destructive behaviors are a direct result of your inability to discipline your mind. See, throughout your life, little seeds have been planted. Seeds of self-doubt, seeds of insecurity, seeds of chaos. You have been programmed. And that's not your fault. But at some point, you have to take back your life. Town. After completing high school, she enrolled at Auburn University to study biomedical sciences and after that she joined Jackson State University for her higher studies making her a well-educated individual. Sis, if you keep molding yourself to fit every man you come across, how is your soulmate going to find you or even recognize you when he's under the impression that you are somebody else? You have a bunch of people out here trying to maintain relationships with people who aren't meant for them out of the fear of being alone. Why does the idea of being in the presence of self intimidate you so much? You can't learn to love yourself through the eyes of everyone else because most times people don't love you for who you are but for how who you are makes them feel, see? Stop introducing people to a vibe you can't maintain and become comfortable and unwavering in your individuality so that you may begin to attract the people, things, and ideas that are meant for you. See, I don't know who needs to hear this, but not every man is supposed to be your career, honey. Some are just teachers. Learn your lesson, pass that class, and go. Her mother describes her as a very happy and jovial person. She was charming, loving, funny, smart, and sweet. Raven also known as Ray was the life of the party. She always make others smile. She was very close to her family difficult times. She would also collaborate with so many reputable and esteemed brands through her social media platforms. Ray ended up meeting a young man who she fell in love with. He was a native of Chicago who was also a rapper. They kicked it off and it was a very lovely relationship until the worst happened. After two long years of dating, on September 6th of 2022, Ray who decided to hurt herself due to some things which she had been going through but never shared with anyone. Ray had been thinking about hurting herself for a very long time but she was never able to go through with it until September 6, 2022. On this fateful day, she left a note for her boyfriend before she finally went ahead with her action. In the note that was left she had a lot to say about her relationship and what she is going through. The note reads, I'm just tired baby. I was dealing with these thoughts before you met me. I was just waiting for the right time. This is my third time writing this for real. It's nobody's fault. I've been tired for a long time. I gave up a long time ago. I just do a good job of hiding it. Right now, as I'm writing this, I'm remembering us happy, looking at our videos, imagining how beautiful of a bride I would have been. It's 5 p.m. here. This bridge is actually nice. I wish we would have come here together. Some homeless people sprinkled in but not too many. I'm thinking about how this will feel if it will hurt. I used to joke about how recklessly I lived my life before meeting you, truth be told I would put myself in dangerous situations because I didn't care about living. Living just always seemed overrated. I'm sorry Maine, it's one thing to ruin your life, but I had to go and stop mine too. Understand that this is my choice, this is what I wanted. This is what I've wanted for a while. I just don't fit here, I'm not happy in this world. I just can't fake it anymore. I don't want to be here, it's too much on me. I wish I could take it all back. Undo everything so I never even called you. Nothing seemed real Antonio. Not my business, not my relationship, not even me. My heart is weak from stress and my ovaries hurt but they keep saying nothing's wrong. I feel like I have bugs on my skin that won't come off no matter how many times I wash. You were the best thing that happened to me in a long time Tony but I know I'm a lot to deal with. 
Right now we're as distant as we've ever been. I love you with all my heart. I couldn't take ruining us. I'm losing all the people I love. I want to leave here knowing that I didn't F this one relationship up. I wish you were here to send me off like Murda did Teak, but you probably wouldn't be nearly as understanding anyway. As much as I want you to see my point of view, I didn't want our last conversation to be an argument, so that's why I was so quiet. I really just wanted to hear your voice one last time. You have every right to feel what you feel towards me, baby. I love you Antonio, I pray I get to love you in a better life where I'm a better version of me. You deserve that much. With such a very emotional note, the boyfriend decided to let friends on social media know about this so he posted about her passing on social media. His message on social media reads, Baby why would you do this to me, why would you do this to us I was coming back home I promised you I would. You just gonna leave me forever? You know how many people love you Raven. I would have never left if this was the outcome, the rapper said in a lengthy post of a few sweet moments from their relationship. I'm fed up for the rest of my life baby mentally you just finished me. I'm shaking I'm crying I love you so much stinky pie. My woman my wife my life, you pushed me away so you can do this? I would have died with you Raven I did any and everything for you. I'll never be able to love again. I'll see you soon baby, God help me please. The best two years of my life. God I need you please help me please. What did I do to deserve this? You took my friends and my girl, he said in another post. The police investigated the death of the beautiful model and concluded that it was caused by her harming right, herself. It was concluded that she had fallen tragically out of her 42nd story apartment which was what led to her death. There was no foul play involved according to the police. This sad ending to a very promising life was felt by a lot of her fans, friends, and family. Our sincere condolences to the nothing like that there because i'm not i'm not doing it that way you feel me you know what i'm saying i respect everybody wishing i respect their loved ones i respect the people that's lost their loved one you did let me get that out the way but nobody won't think i'm trying to disrespect nobody you feel me and i stand on it you know what i'm saying because i ain't like that I ain't, I ain't built like that you know what i'm saying that was the young generation do i don't do that you hear me but anyway me raven she was i've been heard about this you feel me? But, uh, but you know, uh, when she was talking in them videos, each one of the videos, she was explaining about, you know, how you get up in the morning, you wake up, from the time you wake up, time you don't, you know what I'm saying, how you take control of your life, how you plant your seed. Then you're speaking about another when a man, you know what I'm saying, find a woman, don't be thinking for a man for the, you know what I'm saying, you got to wait. I understand she was saying wait for God and, you know what I'm saying, the man can come to you, woo, woo, then she say, well, I, this is for somebody else. She said, I don't know, I don't know what's, I don't know who it's for, but for somebody else. Me, I get, I get what she was saying. She was, she was speaking out for her. You feel me? She was speaking out for her what she was dealing with. You feel what I'm saying to you? She was dealing with something that she couldn't control. You feel me? She was. Her heart was let down so much, right? Whatever she was doing in this world, and she had so much on her back, you know what I'm saying, that she probably had to carry this load. But the load she carried, nobody don't know but her. Because she says she played it real well of, you know what I'm saying, hiding certain things. But to me, you know what I'm saying, if I'd have been watching her then, you dig what I'm saying, I could tell that when a person... Speaking out, going through something, because what they'll do, you know what I'm saying? They'll talk about the issues a lot, and they'll talk about, you know, uh, how to help other people. And some people, you know what I'm saying, that's how they get through it, by helping other people. But sometimes, it's for them to help they, they self, as they speaking out to other people, sometimes don't help them, because they be in this dark place that, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell y'all something. You feel me? Now, 600 Breeze, he was like, he's playing everything on his text and everything, right? You feel me? He said, why God did this and took it away? You feel me? God did not take her away from you, man. You feel me? The devil did. Because I'm going to tell you why I say this, man. No disrespect. You know this like I know. You feel me? And I hope you understand that what I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, say to you. You feel me? If you want to watch the video, whoever watching might need my help. You heard me? But 
Anytime the devil see any type of weakness in you, right? And the devil already know your thoughts, how you finna plan yourself to get rid of yourself. Because everybody go through something in this world. You got people that really don't want to live in this world because they feel like they don't fit. They don't fit in this world. You feel what I'm saying? But all actual reality, they do fit in this world. You feel what I'm saying? See, when we live by the world, right? You know what I'm saying? The devil, he already knowing that how he going to trap you. He already knowing that how he going to set you up for failure. He already knowing that, you know what I'm saying? He going to set you up so much, you either going to hurt yourself or somebody going to do something to you. Or you know what I'm saying? Or either you just going to play dangerous. You feel what I'm saying? And you see that she was playing a dangerous life because she felt like she didn't belong in this world. You feel me? The devil will smell, if the devil smell any type of weakness that's in you, you feel me? The devil going to give you the okay. Say it's okay. You going to be in a better place if you take your life. As in reality, you won't be in a better place. You feel what I'm saying? The devil already knowing once you take your own life, he already knowing that, you know what I'm saying, you going to hell because he know what God said in that good book. Because if you take your own life, God clearly say that that's where you're going to go to hell. You feel what I'm saying? And most people don't believe in that. But as in reality, it's in there. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So me, you know what I'm saying, I just want to help certain people. You know what I'm saying? If I can help somebody that's that's going through something, the way Raven go going through something, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I give my mom saying my prayers, go out to 600 breeze, you know what I'm saying? He just, you know what I'm saying? I know that when you're in love with someone, you finna marry the person, you feel what I'm saying? It's gonna hard for him to adapt to another woman because the only woman he used to is 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 Raven. You feel what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? So me, you know what I'm saying? I got to respect him for or when he say that he don't know if he ever going to find love again. You feel what I'm saying? Because it'll take a toll on certain people. You feel what I'm saying? But that girl was screaming for help. But you know what I'm saying? That's why it's good to learn the person that who you with. I'm to my really, really dig deep and learn who they really is and what they going through. You feel me? Only person know what's going through in this in her childhood, man, it was herself. If she ain't go through nothing in her childhood, molesting, rape, or nothing like that, there, you feel what I'm saying? If she was, you know, like some kid born with, you know what I'm saying, a set of mind, like, you know what I'm saying, they can't really fix themselves and they have some type of little flaws about themselves, either weakness about themselves, they feel like they ain't good enough for no man, or they feel like they just ain't good enough for their parents, ain't good enough for nobody. You feel what I'm saying? It depends on what that child established when that child was growing up. Nobody don't know what the child established when she grew up. Only person know is her and the old girl. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know my good people, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna stay on this thing long because, you know what I'm saying, I'm like this here. I don't want to say the wrong thing, be hurt people's feelings. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I gotta speak the truth and I gotta tell the truth. You feel what I'm saying? If the devil find any type of weakness in you, you feel me? He got you. He just got you point blank. You feel me? Is it your fault? Sometimes people say it, it ain't that person's fault. You know what I'm saying? But that's why God tell us to find him. You know what I'm saying? Save yourself. You feel me? Because he knowing the devil, he knowing the devil that want people with a good heart. Just like us. She had a good heart. But the devil knew that she had that good heart. You feel what I'm saying? The devil don't really don't want nobody. Going to the most high. You know what I'm saying? He want everybody to go straight to hell where he at. You feel me? And you best believe this here. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to get off this here. When you die or when you kill yourself, I'm going to tell you straight up now. You feel me? And judgment day come. You feel me? Now, we thinking in our head when we kill ourselves, the pain to be over with. It'll be all done. I ain't got to worry about it. You feel what I'm saying? But that's a lie. You feel what I'm saying? When judgment day come, that's when a lot of us going to feel the grit. We going to feel the pain that we never felt before in our life. Because believe me, your soul going to be lit up. Lit up like a Christmas tree, man. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know how I feel. But it says that in that good book. You feel me? It says it right there in that good book. That's why we're some of the young generation understand 
to read the Bible so they won't go through the things that they go through. But if you ain't been taught that way, if you ain't had no guidance, you feel what I'm saying, man? Kids also, man, they take the wrong turn. You feel what I'm saying? They take the wrong turn, man, because they've been picked on. They've been bullied. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they ain't had nobody on their corner. You know what I'm saying? They feel like God don't resist because people around here be lying about the good book a lot. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the truth. But anyway, my good people, that's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to scratch that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? More blessing go out to, you know what I'm saying? 600, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to still pray for the dude you did. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to pray for her family. You know what I'm saying? Because it just happened a couple of years ago. You did what I'm saying? So, you know, from apartment, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you know, uh, sometimes I wish people can, can really speak out. But sometimes they can be scared. And sometimes they don't want the other they partner to think that they crazy. You feel me? You heard she say she was a lot to deal with. You feel what I'm saying? She was going through her own little spells, man. You know what I'm saying? And I know what it was, man. It wasn't nothing but the devil, man. The devil was tricking her all this long time. You feel what I'm saying? So I wish she could have seek help, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because the girl, the girl, like, she was real, real smart and bright, had a good heart. You can tell. You know what I'm saying? But when she was speaking out, she was speaking out. Really for herself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But she didn't want to tell nobody. But she was speaking out for herself. Everything she was talking about, speaking about, it was for her. You feel me? So on that note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? If y'all down with me, baby, y'all the been no smack that like button. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God heard, baby. Start a friendship. And keep God heard, baby. Start a relationship. And make sure you keep God heard, baby, for the devil. You know what I'm saying? Because the devil got plenty of tricks up his sleeve. You know what I'm saying? On that note, my good people, I'm gone, baby. I'm gone.